anytime you started a new school in a new department, um, at least I don't know uh, what the general makeup of the student body is going to be, and you can only learn so much from reading reports and even sitting in on other people's classes. So the first term I was here, I was testing them constantly, and there was a large assessment element. There were weekly quizzes and, and uh, at the very most bi-weekly assignments. Um, over time, I've realized that some of them were worthwhile and some weren't. I'm Mary Frances DeRose. I'm an instructor at the School of Public Service. Usually what I do um, to, as far as the approach to teaching statistics and just making it more accessible is bring in real world examples. And the first assignment is I have the students select a journal article that has statistics in it and preferably statistics they don't understand and analyze the article to the degree that they understand it and then um, return to it several times during the term because they'll see how much they've learned and then for the final they return to it uh, in a much more comprehensive way. I suggest that they find certain tests which again are going to be generally Greek to them. So I say look for chi-square, look for regression, look for ANOVA or MANOVA or whatever it is. Um, give it your best shot. So what I, the uh, analysis that's done that first week, they'll say, I found it, I don't understand what they're talking about. Midpoint in the term, they're like, oh, we're, we're looking at the relationship between an independent and dependent variable. And by the end, they can not only talk about what that relationship may or may not be, but the strength of it. as far as advice to people teaching something like statistics is uh, get to know the students early on um, and understand their fear level of taking statistics because that's going to impact not only them but the rest of the class. Um, make it very clear to all the students that you will meet them where they are and try to take them forward. You're worried about uh, wasting people's time and, and I'm talking about four one term it was five different levels of ability and you, you can't do three hours of five different levels of ability and be fair to everybody. The way I, I break up the, the three hours, the first hour is usually uh, covering what was in the book and it's, there's a PowerPoint or two every week. Um, so that's pretty straightforward as well as, um, as I mentioned before, kind of uh, talking about the cumulative nature of the course. and. So I start with this running start, starting a little bit back, bring them up to whatever tonight's material is going to be. We go ahead and we cover that, um, then take a break. And then usually at that point, uh, depending on what room we have, we do computer exercises for about an hour. Um, then if it's appropriate, I put a key up and we talk about what the results should have been and what they mean. Um, there's usually an assignment that they can work on, either in class or at home. Um, and then at that point, I said, if you're comfortable, I'm just going to go ahead and review material for an hour. So I try to make very good use of their time because what I'm finding is this very broad range of abilities. And so you have to be able to tailor a three-hour class to hit all of those levels of ability and be really fair to everybody. And so you have to be uh, sensitive to uh, where they, the students are in a way that is not true with most of the other classes.